Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. I am still sick. It hasn't gone away. I don't know what I have. I just know I'm sick. I reviewed the Draculaura food truck yesterday, and it's still sitting here because I don't know where to put this massive thing. So I figured today in my current state, which is... It's like I was feeling better yesterday, but today my nose is stuffy which it wasn't the previous few days. So I really don't know if I'm getting better or worse because like my cough is going away and my throat doesn't hurt anymore. But now I have a stuffy nose, which is like the worst symptom of being sick ever. Like that's the that's the worst one. It makes it hard to breathe. I would like to breathe, you know? I, I, I feel like you don't appreciate how easy it is to breathe until it's harder to do it, you know? Like when you have a stuffy nose, yeah. Yeah. Why am I describing being sick like none of you have ever been sick before? So anyway, uh, we gotta figure out what I'm doing with this, uh, truck. I'm obviously keeping Draculaura. I like her. Uh, that thing just does not want to stay on her head. I don't want any of this shit. So... Okay. Yep, everything wants to fall over. I think... Yeah. And then you can snap the guitar there. So I'm assuming the rest of the accessories you could just like kind of put in here, right? Because then you just close the food truck up like normal, probably. All right, so there we go. I closed the truck up and everything's inside. Also, this flap stays shut when this isn't attached. So um, finally closed, thank God. Um, This playset is cool. You know, I don't need it, but it's not bad. I'd say the doll is probably the best part about it, because this is a legitimately- <sighs> couldn't, Why couldn't they just attach this to her head with some factory ties? You know, like, just pierce the hole in the side of it and fucking stick it to her head, you know? They could have done that, and they just didn't, you know? Yeah. I think it just hates her. It was just so quiet outside, and now it's pouring rain. Yeah, Florida's confusing. By the way, some of you guys have asked me about that um, hurricane, and I was fine. My area wasn't affected by it. So thank you guys for your concern, but I am okay. There's a lot of people who aren't, though. The hurricane has really been devastating for other people. But on a lighter note, I cleaned up this Megan. I'd been meaning to bring her back into the doll room, and I finally did. Um, I've also got some other new do new additions. I finally got Goldie Twist again. She's incomplete, and I got her out of a random OMG lot that I essentially bought just for her. I need to bend her knee. Yeah. It was too- her legs were too straight. It's supposed to have a little bend. Her hair is in good shape. I just need to, like, wash it. She's got her earrings. She's got her uh, dress and such. I don't know if she's missing anything. She might be missing, like, a necklace or something. But overall, she's good. I also ended up getting a Fly Girl again. And I've decided to keep her this time. I like her, so she's a cool one to keep. They need their hair washed, but I just haven't... I haven't wanted to do it, so <laughs> I haven't done it yet. Um, we'll just stand Laguna right there for now. The other dolls that I got... Out of that lot, I currently have listed on Mercari for sale. I'm keeping these two. And I also got an extra of Sweets, who I am planning to give to my girlfriend. Uh, Jay doesn't have any OMGs. And I showed her Sweets, and she was like, wow, that one's adorable. And I was like, would you like her? And she was like, yes. So, gift for my wife. I was looking at my shelves real quick, and I just realized that I left Trixie on my Haunt Couture shelf for some reason. That also has the birthday dolls and Pennywise, but... Yeah, this shelf is a little, like, not themed at all. Neither is this one, though. We got G1 dolls, and then Wednesday Addams, and real drama. This line is cool. I feel like I that's all I say about them every time I see these dolls, but they're just cool, you know? Like, some of them have terrible face placement. Most of them do. My Frankie's fine, but Claudine's... Claudine was notoriously bad. Can I just say that the silver earrings look cool? Not that they're even silver, they're more like gray. You get what I mean, though, right? 
part of me wishes these dolls had been fully monochromatic, but I do like the colored streaks in their hair and as for like for their eyes. Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about and getting distracted. I'm delirious. I'm trying to remember if I ever told you guys that I got another basic Torelai. I got this one like I want to say a few weeks ago, I bought her because she was in perfect condition. Like some factory fresh, fresh out of box condition. Like look at these hair stripes. It's like almost completely perfect. Like it looks like the doll was unboxed and then just put on a shelf forever and ever. She also had her tail, which was cool. I bought this one online. I don't think I stole a good deal from anyone or something. I just bought one that I liked because I wanted to treat myself. I deserve a treat sometimes. But yeah, um, this one was cool. I like her a lot. But as you can see, I have a lot more. I got lots of Torelais. Hold on, I gotta get her to face forward how I had her. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I want the shelf to look. I think I also told you guys that I got the little Torelai keychain here. Um, yeah, these things are being sold at Hot Topic. They cost like $10 each though in their blind bags. And I hate blind bags. Can I just say they got her earrings wrong? She's not supposed to have two studs on this side and one hoop on this side. She's supposed to have a hoop on this side and a stud, and this side is supposed to be a stud. They also got the side with her ear wrong, because the chip is supposed to be on the right, not the left. They put the notch on this ear. and No, they put the notch on both ears. That's not correct. I hope someone was fired for that blender, and before someone gets mad at me for saying that, it's a Simpsons reference. But yeah, those little keychains are like at Hot Topic. They're like, again, like $10 each though. And the lineup they chose is weird because Cleo and Claudine, two main characters, were both left out of it. Um, and Invisibilly and Heath were included, as well as Skeleta. Skeleta makes sense, they make a lot of merchandise of her, but... It's weird to leave Cleo and Claudine out, you know? They're probably gonna make a series two or something. If you're wondering why I have Torelai, like, oh, did you rip a bunch open in the store? No, I wish. I just bought her on Mercari. I didn't, I didn't really care to dig through a bunch of blind bags and rip them open one by one. I only do that when it's Shadow the Hedgehog. I am still waiting on the other Mega Bloks Torelai. Once I have her, I'll have all of Torelai's little mini things. I also do have her magazine figure coming. I don't know where I'm gonna put that when I get it. Probably on the main Torelai shelf or maybe up here somewhere. Or if I can find a way to fit her on this setup, I will. But yeah. Basically, my Torelai merchandise collection is almost complete. And once I have all of her stuff, I won't have any like new dolls to add, no new figures until like the potions figures are released. So at least I have the potions to look forward to. Because there's the two-pack of her and Claudine, and then there's the Series 2 ones where... It's the same sculpt for both of them, but different color schemes. Uh, the one with Claudine actually kind of reminds me of His Fit Storlai, because they gave her purple streaks in her hair. And that, what, is, what does His Fit Storlai have? She's got purple streaks in her hair. But yeah. Um, other than that, once I have those figures, my Torlai collection will be complete. I won't be missing anything from any of the generations. After that, I just want to get, like, the rest of her stuff in the box from G1. So, in G1, I have almost... I have four new in-box Torelais from G1. Got Coffin Bean, I have Ghoul Sports, First Edition, and Power Ghouls. So, that's four. I need Fierce Rockers. Um, I'll need Ghouls Alive, Freak Du Chic, Great Scarier Reef. Uh, freaky field trip and yeah fear leading fear leading tour lie in the box a three pack is hard to get that's expensive but the other things should be fairly easy i don't think freaky field trip will cost very much because she's a budget doll ghouls alive runs pretty cheap too so i can get that freak du chic's gonna be another difficult one what sucks is i could have had her already but for some reason, a couple years ago when I found her at the flea market, she was $40, and for some reason I didn't buy her. I don't know why I didn't. It was a Torelai in the box right in front of me at the flea market, and I was like, eh, I don't need it. Like, 
sometimes I look back at my memories and I think, am I dumb? And the answer is usually a little bit. But yeah, and then when it comes to G2, her only release was Garden Ghouls. And Garden Ghouls runs a bit expensive in the box, but hopefully I'll be able to get a Garden Ghouls tour line in the box. If anyone has any of these things in the box and wants to sell them to me, uh, please reach out to my Instagram. So um, it's in the description if you want to contact me. I've been good at keeping up with G3 so far. I have every released Torali in the box. Okay, except for Hisfits and um, Fear Book. I'm waiting for a sale to get my second Fear Book. And Hisfits, I'm also waiting for a sale. But at this point, I'm starting to think I should just buy it now because... Is it even available on Entertainment Earth right now? It probably isn't. I feel like it's out of stock. It's probably out of stock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm yapping so much. I mean, I guess that's why you guys watch this channel, right? You like to hear me yap. Yeah. Yeah, you can even see I used to have some of these Toralize in the box based on the artworks on my wall. Oh yeah, Fierce Rockers is another one that runs expensive in the box because it's a two-pack. It can be upwards of like $100 or more, usually closer to 200 But if I never get those, at the very least, I have an in-box G3 Toralai prototype and... I think that makes up for it, like having a prototype of my favorite character sealed in the box. And she has a different face from what was released. I've pointed out all the differences to you guys. She's missing her freckle. Her lip shape is different. Her nose shape is different. Her hair is very curly and nice looking. She's got different eyebrows. She's got a different eye shape. It's like less narrow. Her body is hand painted, you know? Just very interesting things. As well as all my other prototypes here, but and my unreleased Laguna. You know, I heard a rumor that there's an unreleased Torali. I want to see her. I really want to see that unreleased Torali gang. I would give anything to see it. I don't know anything about it, but I have heard that there's at least one known unreleased Torali doll. And to be quite honest, I would do anything to see that doll. I have said a lot of words in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I yapped way longer than I intended to, but I'm very passionate about my Torali collection. Very passionate about her. When people ask me why she's my favorite character, though, my mind goes blank, because I, I don't know. Do you ever just, like, pick something that's your favorite thing ever when you're a kid, and it just kind of sticks with that for the rest of your life? I, I think that's me with Torali. I chose her as my favorite when I was, like, nine or ten years old, and I've just kind of stuck with her ever since, so started collecting in like 2013. All I know is Power Ghouls and the three-pack Fear Leading doll were her only available dolls in the stores when I started collecting. So I got both of them for Christmas and yeah, this was my first ever Torali doll. This one right here. She's to blame for everything. Yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you guys for watching this video. I should probably go lie down because I'm sleepy. I need rest so I'm not sick anymore. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!